what's up you guys welcome back and if you're new welcome to the hottest collab of the summer maybe in history i don't know i can't claim those words but i'm putting them out there all right this is of course the kimchi chic beauty x trixie mattel collection you guys okay let me just i have okay obviously if you are a subscriber to the channel, you know I do a lot of kimchi videos. I do a lot of Trixie cosmetics videos. Like I love both of these queens and they both have very successful makeup companies. So I've always thought it was a little odd that they've never collabed with each other. Cause I'm like, hello, you're both makeup moguls. What, why, <laughs> why isn't this happening? It's happening, it happened, it's here. My God, I'm so excited for this. Like, I just, oh, oh, I knew this was going to be epic and I'm like so excited with what I've got here. So I, of course, did uh, the entire, the entire collection because um, I'm me and I'm extra and there's no way I wasn't going all in on this. Hello. So I already have uh, the base done. So I'm going to show off what we have here. So we've got the, uh, what the highlight double diamonds which is gorgeous i've got the, the highlight here for you and like i don't think it's gonna read on the camera here but these this and the blush both have like little tiny like glitters in the compact which i think is so cute and i don't think she's done like matte and she's done shiny but i don't think she's done like glittery on the heart compact so like kimchi stepping it up hi and then we have the brb blush pink era which is gorgeous and i also have both of those shades on my cheeks and then i have them right here kind of like nice little light pink moment which i think will work for a lot of skin tones too so that and then uh there was four lipsticks which we'll get into and then four liquid lipsticks I have three shades of the liquid lipstick on here because I did an ombre. I've got these uh, swatched for you here. This one swatched a little funky. I don't know. I'm not all right. <laughs> this is in shade Hello Hello, which if you haven't streamed, you need to stream that song immediately. It's amazing. If you don't know, Trixie is a very accomplished singer. I absolutely like I think Trixie and Alaska are the two queens that I listen to their music the most on, but like, they're iconic. They're just so good. And then we have Red Fantasy, Spice Cake, and Pink Fantasy. I've actually got uh, Hello Hello, Red Fantasy, and Pink Fantasy on my lips. But I think Spice Cake is like a really nice, like you guys know I don't really do nudes, but like for an ombre lip, having a little nude pop in the middle. It's kind of nice. And then there was four lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks that launched well as well. And I didn't really go over this on the liquid lipsticks, but they all come with these little mirrors attached to the container so you can do on the go checkups. I think that's so cool and like innovative. It's, I mean, I will say it is a little clumsy and I feel like these are going to snap off on people. I'm just saying. Um, the Glam Light. Let me... The Glam Light lippies that had the mirror built into the packaging like this, I think that was a better innovation of trying to have a mirror with the packaging, you know what I mean? Like I, I think Glam Light did it better on that one, but I do like that you get these cute little photos of Kim and Trixie on there, but I do feel like these are going to snap off on people, you know what I mean? But also like Glam Light, um, they have the push button and then you get your lipstick Thing going on which I feel like it's cool and obviously since Glimlight did it and now Kimchi Chic's done it we're gonna see more brands doing this I feel like this is like the new wave of lipstick packaging but I feel like it's just an added step that we don't need you know what I mean I'd rather just pull the top off twist up and go than have to push a button pull down twist up and go like it is it just me am I being crabby I don't know I just feel like it's unnecessary, but it's it's cool, it's fun, it's like, ooh, what what year is it again? 2032? But like, why? Why, why, it's, it's not necessary. 
but the shades on the lipsticks kind of go along with the shades for the liquid lips. If you'll notice, like we've got, this kind of looks like spice cake. This is called uh, Eat It. And this kind of looks like uh, Red Fantasy. This is called Geisha, but it's G-A-Y. I love a good pun. And then we have Pink Sorbet, which is a lot like the Pink Fantasy. And then we have, what was this one? Gingerbread, which is a lot like the Hello Hello. So I do like that the lipsticks kind of like coordinate with each other, but again, I do feel like the packaging is, it, obviously everyone's going to go to this because this is the second time we've seen it with a brand, but like, it's an extra step we don't need. I don't, I don't understand why. If someone can explain the why to me and it's like an actual reason, maybe I will get in on this. Maybe, I don't know, probably not, but why? And then we have the main event, the palette. Um, when you move it, they change their faces. I'm going to be entertained with that for hours. Like, I'm just going <gasps> to... <gasps> yeah. <laughs> then we have the palette itself, which I have heard some people kind of being a little unhappy with the glitter in here. But... I'm not mad. I don't shy away from oppressed glitters. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. She's fine, but I will swatch these and then we'll do a look. Okay. I've got the first two rows here. So we have crepe, Parisian glow, soiree, egg tart, which I hope is a reference to Trixie without a wig on and pistachio. And then we have Waffle Cone a la mode, which is gorgeous. Then we have Drag Royalty, Sapphire, and Sweet Tart. Hey, last two rows. We have Chocolate Souffle, Brioche, Let Them, or, yeah, Let Them Eat Cake, sorry. And then Pink Chiffon, Wild Poppy, Opera Cake, Cinnamon Sugar, Flower Power, Limelight, and Dahlia. Okay, so I'm going to go with, oh, what are we going to do? I think I'm going to do pistachio, like right in here. And then we're going to take egg tart the rest of the way over. And then I'm going to take Sweet Tart right in the middle. And then in the outer corner, we're going to do Dahlia. Okay, I'm gonna cut the crease and then we'll come back. Okay, we had a minor mayday. I have no idea where my micellular water is. So we just, uh, we didn't do a clean cut. We're just doing a, a messy cut today because apparently I need to get my life together. Yeah, um, we're gonna go in with, I think I wanna do, uh, what do I wanna do? I'm going to take Aller Mode right in the corner of the eye and kind of bring that into the cut crease a little bit. And then we're taking Let Them Eat Cake all the way over. And then I'm going to take Pink Chiffon and kind of blend the end of the cut crease just a little bit. Now, I'm going to take Sapphire under the lid. Okay, I think 
this is pretty much the look. Very colorful, tropical bird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do some liner and lash and we'll be back to talk about everything. And here is our finished look. I had absolutely no issues with anything not really blending in the palette. Um, everything is very pigmented. I love it. I know a lot of people uh, were having issues with like they didn't like the glitter in there. Which I, I do feel like they probably could have done a few less shades as glitter and more as shimmers because it, it does feel like a lot of people don't really like pressed glitters, but like I like pressed glitters, so I'm not mad at it, but I do understand, like I, I do feel like a few, like especially like the, the purple, the drag royalty, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like the purple probably should have been a shimmer and like cinnamon sugar probably should have been a shimmer, but I'm not mad at the bright green, the a la mode, and the let the be cake being shimmers, or uh, glitters, I mean. And flower power, I think that should have been a shimmer. But the rest of them I'm not mad at. <laughs> like, I think they're, like, they're perfect little pop of pow, you know? Little pop of pow? You don't want a little pop of pow? All right, I like a little pop of pow. I like a dramatic lash. I like a lot of things that I probably shouldn't. I have no taste, but <laughs> that's why I like drag queens. All right, <laughs> this was this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love this collection. I think it's a fantastic collection. It might be the hottest collection of history. Yes. Let's see if they can top it, okay? Thank you for watching this. If you are interested in anything, I do have the link down below in the description box. I am not on the Kimchi Sheet Squad yet, but I keep sending in applications monthly. They're going to get sick and tired of seeing this face, but I'm wearing them down. I will wear them down. I'm going to be on the squad. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.